Ms. Shorter, Ms. Harrington, thank you for your patience. Thank Are you, you driving, Ms. Shorter? No, Are you driving? I just, no, I'm not driving. I just uh, left home. I actually, um, I'm driving into a, a courthouse right now to pay a traffic ticket. You're driving then, right? You just said you're driving. No, I'm not driving. I'm on the passenger seat. You're on the passenger seat. Oh, that's your Uber driver? No, it's a friend. Okay. We all need friends. Hello. Okay. Friend. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? All right, Miss Shorter, Miss Harrington. I want to call your case. Call in case number 2324-0885. Miss Shorter, Miss Harrington, please raise your right hand. Do you swear up front the testimony you're about to give will be the truth? I do. Yeah. Okay. Before we proceed and I take testimony in this matter, I have to advise you of the rights you're waiving. Uh, I want you both to understand that you both have a right to remove this case. Ms. Shorter. Yes, I'm just trying to hear you clearly because of the air and I'm out. So that's all. Okay. All right. I was just talking to your hair for a second there. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. All right, before we proceed, before the court hears the merits of the case, the court has to advise you of the rights you are waiving. Ms. Shorter, I know you're in a moving vehicle. I did. I just swore in already. Okay, thank you. You're on it. Uh, I just need you to, to keep still to the extent that you can. Okay, uh, we're I know you're now arriving now, so I'm just going to um, get out of the car and actually, you know, be still. Well, what so court are you driving to? Um, 16th District Court in Livonia. in Livonia. Okay. Is he is he dropping you off, or is just is he staying with you? No, he was he was staying with me. He was oh, yeah, yeah he, he was staying with time. me the whole time. Okay, I'm gonna once you get stationary, ma'am. Let me know. No. Okay, I'm stationary, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. All right, you're standing up, you're moving. Can you sit down somewhere? Is it better for you to get back in the car and sit still? Because you're yeah, giving me motion he, sickness. I'm sorry, but he had uh, information that I needed, so I grabbed my folder, but he's going to let them know that I'm here. Okay, I need you to sit down stationary because you're giving me motion sickness. Okay. Thank you. Let's pray it doesn't rain on you. All right, Ms. Shorter, you are suing for $600, is that correct? Yes. And uh, you, you claim you paid $600 to the defendant for school training, for phlebotomy school training. I was dropped from the class without properly finding out, finding a resolution to finish out my course. You said Ms. Harrington dropped me out of the class without cause, nor, nor notification. I really just want my money back. Ms. Harrington is very unprofessional. Okay, disregard the side comment. So what type, is this a phlebotomy tr school training class? Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Has the class occurred in the city of Detroit? Yes, Your Honor. How long was the class for? The class was supposed to be a, I believe, a four-day class for two weeks. We would come in Saturday and Sunday for two weeks only. From my understanding. All right. How much you said you paid six hundred dollars for the class? Yes, Your Honor. And at the end, were you supposed to get a certificate or something? Yes, Your Honor. How'd you go about enrolling or finding out about how'd you go about enrolling or and or finding out about the class? I was actually just online searching schools. And I came across Miss Harrington School and um, I searched to the reviews and everything. She had great feedback on um, her school. So therefore I, um, I initiated to enroll into her school because um, I'm just trying to be a better person for my daughter. I have a 16 month old daughter. So okay. with that being okay, said- Okay, stop, stop there, stop there, stop there, stop there, stop there. This is a question for both, both of you. Uh, what is phlebotomy? 
Would you like that? me to answer that, Yana? Either one of you, because I don't know. I can answer it. I can answer it. Phlebotomy is the act of drawing blood. So when you go to the doctor and they send you to the lab to get your blood work, the person that draws the blood is the phlebotomist. And that's what phlebotomy oh. is. Oh, so that's the person that can't find the veins in my arm. Yeah. <laughs> and they poke me all over till they get it right. That's a person okay. that didn't go to my school. <laughs> I don't know where she went, but she was like, you know, ball up your fist and do this. It's like, oh, I see one. Boom. Oh, I missed it. Boom. I missed it. <laughs> okay. So did you pay the $600 in cash, check, or credit card, ma'am? Yes, I paid the $600 in cash. When did you pay it? At the facility of the school. I said when? Uh, just. I have the paperwork. Sorry, that's the folder that I was uh, grabbing. Okay, ma'am, ma I need you to sit down, please. Sit, I am sit down. sitting. I'm not moving. I'm sitting. I have my paperwork right here. Okay, I right thought here. you stood up for a second. Okay. No, I did. All right. I'm still seated. Approximately, 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 when did you pay it? Um, Probably a week before the class actually started. The class, I remember the class started July 22nd. So it had to be at least like a week prior to that. Okay. How many classes did you attend? Uh, I attended three classes. Out of a total of how many classes? Out of a total of four classes, I attended three. So a total, the course was four classes, you only went to three? I was dropped the third day. And why were you dropped the third day? From my understanding, Miss um, Harrington said that this was the second incident with me, um, and she pretty much dropped me from the class. The first incident was me asking her for a sheet of paper. This was actually the second day of class. We had a quiz that uh, Miss Harrington told us to take. So therefore, I stayed up all night. I read one to four chapters. And um, when we went to school the next day, she pretty much told us that we would be uh, speaking on the chapters and everything that we had read. But we didn't get to do any of that because I was the only one that read the chapters one through four. The other students did not read the um, did not read the chapters that she. Okay, was uh, is that why you were dropped? Because of the second incident, is that what you're saying? No, I was actually leading up to why I was dropped. Okay, so, I want to get you to why were you dropped? That was my question. I'm, I, that's what I was trying to explain to you. She's telling me that these are the two incidents. Well, not she's okay. not telling me. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. I don't even know about the incidents. I just need to know the reason. She never gave me a reason. She just wrote me a, a email. She just wrote me an email that I went up there and got because I never knew I was dropped. The, the day of the class, they told me that I would come back and uh, another day because of another student or something like that. When Miss Harrington had us do the testing that we were, te we were doing testing on the dummies in the classroom, basically um, sticking the dummies with the needles. So she left us out there alone to proceed to do it on our own. Another student, was um Ms. Ms. Shorter, Ms. Was Ms. Shorter. Ms. yeah when i when i when i'm speaking don't over talk me please i didn't hear you okay i just want to make sure i understand your testimony so far you pay six hundred dollars for a course beginning sometime in july of this year is that correct yes it was a four classes and from my understanding I was dropped because I was disrespectful okay, okay. that's what Miss Harrington said in her okay ma'am was I speaking was I not speaking ma'am yes you were speaking okay I just want to make sure I understand your testimony so far I said you pay six hundred dollars for a four four class course. You went to three three of the classes, or three of the four classes. You were said you were dropped uh, unceremoniously and unprofessionally after the third class. Is that correct? Yes, yes or no? Yes, your yes, your honor. Okay, and you you are indicating to the court that you were dismissed from the class at the third class for not very good reasons. Suffice it to say, is that correct? 
Yes, Your Honor. And you are not entitled to get a refund, uh, the, any, a, a, a full refund or a partial refund of your uh, $600. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Now, Ms. Shorter, now is your opportunity to speak. If there's anything you, you want to add or think, everything I need to know, this now's your time. Okay. Now, when, when I went up to the school, from my understanding, I was still going to be able to test and I was still going to be able to get my certificate. That's why I said I was dry without knowledge. Because when I called up to the school, they weren't answering the phone. They were ignoring me. So when I, when I went up to the school, her her assistant manager, he, he granted me a letter that she had wrote to me through email that I never had received. And, and the letter, it stated that she was dropping me because of two Wait, 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 You said you got an email that you never received? So how you know about the email? Because I went up to the school to see what was going on, to see if they were still going to allow me to take the class. Because it was okay, an incident that person. You no, said go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Finish was, your, it, your, your, your statement. Okay. Because it was an incident that took place in the class. Miss Harrison, she basically had us out there studying on the dummies that were in the class. She went to the next room. So when I was over there trying to study, one of the other students came over to the area that I was in, left her area, came over to where I was in with another um, student. Me and that student were working side by side. He was the patient. I was the um, I was the uh, professional. So therefore, after that, she came over there and just kept being belligerent, pointing out everything that I was not doing, saying that Miss um, Harrington gave her the gave her the right to do that. She said that Miss Harrison told her she could tell us what to do and she could criticize on us on what we was not doing right. That caused the altercation. So when Miss Harrison had came, I okay, the they're office, they're I tried to slow down. Slow down. What type of altercation did it cause? I just asked the um student to go back to her area and allow me to continue doing what the practice that Miss Harrison had told us to do. Okay, altercation with whom? Another student. She was in my area being belligerent, telling me what I was not doing right and what I was not. I don't know. Okay, don't what know happened next? What happened next, Miss Miss Shorter? Miss Harrington came out of the um Miss Harrington came out of the office and um I was upset and the, the other student was upset. The other student went with the uh assistant manager. And I stayed in there with uh, Miss Harrington along with the other students. Miss Harrington said, "Okay, we're still going to go forward. Jakaya, you go first. I said, "I didn't feel comfortable going first because of the situation that occurred. We were at the end of the class. The class was only five minutes left. I was very upset, and I didn't want to get none of the procedures wrong. So therefore, I, I pretty much had told Miss Harrington that I was going to go home. This is the third class, right? Huh? This is the this third class. Oh, so you said yes. you're gonna go home. No, it was five minutes before. Okay, it was five minutes before okay. class. Ma'am, just answer my questions. Yes, I did. I told Miss Harrison I was gonna go ahead and go home. Okay. And she said five, to me, she with, said, with, "Oh, you listen to leave? me. Listen to me. You said you're gonna leave. You're gonna go home with five minutes left in the class. Is that a yes or a no?" Yes. Okay. Continue on, ma'am. So after that, the assistant manager came out before I could leave because the class was over when all of this was going on. So he came out to me and asked me to come into his office. So I go into his office and he was explaining to me how because of what happened, I was going to do my testing another day. He was not going to have me and the girl in the same place. Hold on, hold Which on. The hold, next on. Day hold, hold on, Miss Jordan. Miss Harrington. Please, please don't nod your head. I'm okay? sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I understand. I'm sorry. You, you, you've done very, very well, but please don't nod your head while Miss Shorter is. I apologize. Shorter's I apologize. No problem. Miss Shorter, go ahead. You got, a, you got two minutes. Okay. So after that, he pretty much told me he didn't want me and the other, the other um student in during the same class, which would be the next day, and he told me that they would give me a call back and let me know when I can come up there and finish my course. That never happened. They emailed me and she pretty much emailed me after I had went up there and found out that she emailed me prior to that and ended the course. 
over that situation. Okay. Is that it? That's it. All I wanted was a refund. Okay. All right. Also, could I could I say one more thing, Judge? You got 30 seconds. Also, the student that was doing all that, she um didn't show up for the first day of class, the second day of class. Miss Harrington repeated the got, first what, day what, of what, class. What does it got to do with you? What's another oh, student that to, got to do with you? The second day, I never wanted to repeat the first day of class. So the second day of class, when we were supposed to move on, we never did move on because Miss Harrington taught us the same thing that she taught us the day prior. So yes, I do feel that my money was wasted. Okay, anything else, Miss Shorter? That would be all. Okay, why do you have an attitude, ma'am? Miss Shorter? Yes, sir. yes, Your Honor. Why do you have an attitude? Because I was very nice to Miss Harrington from the beginning, and I don't understand why we even no, got I mean, to the point that we got No, attitude to. with me. No, I don't have an attitude with you. It's just a situation. Okay. That's all. It's just a situation, and I, 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 I just, I don't understand how I had to come downtown. This is my first time even going through something like this. I've never had to sue anybody for anything. So yes, I'm just a little upset at the situation within itself because I do okay. feel we could have handled it without having to go to these measures. Okay. All right, Miss Harrington, I'm going to ask you a few questions, and then at the end it'll be your opportunity to speak. Okay. All right. Does Miss Shorter pay six hundred dollars to enroll in your set of classes? Is that a yes or no? Yes, sir. When were the classes? Uh, when were the classes set to begin? July 22nd through July 30th. How many classes did Ms. Shorter attend? She attended three classes. Out of four, is that correct? Out of four, but then they have 25 blood draws to do after that, after that. So that's their clinicals. Okay. So the four classes are clinical? No, sorry. The fourth class is a, a class, a classroom theory class, and then and after then the twenty five. Yes, they have to the practice. Yes, sir. They have to practice. Is there a time frame that have to complete the twenty five um, draws? I get frame? them up. I get them up to four to six weeks to complete those twenty five because it's not twenty five people; it's twenty five six. So within class, they are getting some of the blood draws that I allow to count against their their clinicals. So, and, gotcha. and they don't always finish at the same time. It depends on how many people they can get to volunteer, if they can work together as students and, and draw on each other. Sometimes the students meet and draw on each other. Do you pay your volunteers to get poked? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> They're volunteers. Okay. All right. Is there anything you want to add now, Ms. Harrington? Now's your time to speak. Yeah, and I want to would like to ask you, I did email you the um a folder of, of I emailed you Miss Shorter's student contract. Did you receive that? I hope you I did. I do not have that. Oh, I sent all of that via. <laughs> when did you I, send it, ma'am? I sent it on last Thursday. I emailed it. I sent her student contract. I also sent a statement from one of the students in class. What time last Thursday did you send it? Um, that can I just look? I have to look at. Sure. Okay. I sent it September seventh, so it's five days ago, and I sent it at three oh one p.m. P.m. Yes. Okay, hold on, Miss Short. I just hold on. We're checking, Miss Harrington. Just hold on. Okay. All right. All right, one moment, Ms. Harrington. I think we may have it. We'll yes, see. Sir. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Ms. Shorter, was there anything you want to say while we're waiting? Yes, I also did want to say that even I do know I'm aware of the um, contract that I did sign. And I am aware that the days that um, I was attending the school, that Ms. Harrington never collected none of the work that I did also as well. 
So she has no documentation of where my mental level was in the class by the third day. I have all the work myself. Is that all, Ms. Shorter? That's it. I just wanted okay. to inform you that before she says uh, with, within the 72 hours, you don't get a refund, but that still doesn't explain okay. why okay. you were poorly teaching me. Okay. All right, Ms. Shorter. Ms. Harrington, I have yes, the sir. documentation. Okay. And you make a reference to the documentation saying what now? So, yes, sir. So, if you look at the student contract that Ms. Shorter signed on, yes. July, on July 11th, it says student conduct down at the bottom of the first page. So, the tuition was $1,000. You gave it to her for $600. But the student conduct, it says... It speaks against any student's so understands that PTC. Okay. You did nothing wrong. I'm okay, you. hold on, hold on, hold I'm on, hold on, hold on. Sir, I need you to be quiet, please. And Ms. Harrington, uh, I'm I can so read sorry, your honor. I'm sorry, Your Honor. We were. I understand. We were, I understand. We were just, just, just mute to the, new, the just, just, I, mute your, just mute yourself when you're speaking with somebody else. That's all. All right, <clears throat> all right Ms. Harrington, give me a moment to read this. Yes, sir. Okay, Ms. Harrington, it looks fairly straightforward to me. Uh, what conduct is, is expected? I, I expect uh, professionalism, Your Honor, yeah, at all I, times I, because we, I'm sorry. Yes. No, no, when no, you're I, dealing I, I, with needles and blood, you have to have a certain, you have to be able to contain and refrain yourself. Also, if you would look, there's a student that wrote a letter on, on the school's behalf. Okay. All right, I see that letter. Yes, sir. All right, just give me a moment to read it, please. Okay, yes, sir. Ms. Shorter, where are you now? I'm sorry, um, Your Honor, but um, they stated that I had to come in the building, so I came in the building to check in and let them know that I'm here. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, Ms. Harrington, I read uh, not only the letter, but I read uh, Ms. Shorter's response. And um, you retain Dion Webster Cox, I see, huh? Well, Dion Webster is just, a, I didn't retain her for this. She, the, Dion is just a, um, is the attorney that I use. Um, yes, but I, I know her, yeah. Okay, I've, I I've, didn't. I've had a few cases with her in, the, in my previous life. Okay. No, I didn't retain her, sir, but... No, okay. Yes. Um, um, yes, ma'am. I, I, I don't have a whole lot to say. Um, I'm the owner of the school. I've owned the school for seven years. This is the first person that I've had to do, go through something like this, that I've had to terminate. I gave her the benefit of the doubt on the first class. Um... But then the second, but but and she came in and she apologized. But I gave her a stern warning from the first class. And, and, and we talked. And she was hysterical. She put her mother on the phone and things like that. So I I I really do did my best. But for somebody to she called more than 50, 30 to 50 times to the school the same day of the third incident of the second incident, I'm sorry, on the third day. She called about 30 to 50 times. Not only that, she went on to Facebook and she made some um, defamation of character, defamation. And okay, Ms. Harrington, Ms. Harrington yes. can't go into that right now. Just okay, that's fine, but, but, but I don't feel like I should have to give her her money back. She took okay. three-fourths of the class. She stopped herself. Wow, okay. You're, you're Ms. Shorter, the Ms. Shorter, Ms. Shorter. Yes. You about to interrupt Miss Harrington? Oh no, 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 I'm not. And and your honor, that's what that's what I dealt with. She overtopped. I could not bring anything. Okay, ladies, ladies, I've heard enough. I'm I'm going to take a a, a a few minutes break and I'll come back with my decision. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> I get a lawyer. I'll be all right. 
Did they tell you where to go? Yeah. Oh, no, I had a Did you check? I don't need that. I thought you said they already checked me in. I don't need that. Hey, he said to I check in, but I just want to be sure. The name is Shakia Shorter. I'm here, but I'm just on a silver, um, for, uh, I have a silver suit going on, on, on Zoom. What was that question? Jakaya, J-A-K-I-A. Okay, Ms. Shorter, sit down, please. All right, you've unmuted. Ms. Shorter, can you hear me? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right. The court haven't heard the testimony from Ms. Shorter. There seems to be no dispute as to the $600 paid for the four classes and, and clinical. Uh, there is no dispute that after the third class, uh, there seems to be some type of altercation. Uh, Ms. Harrington represents this was a second one after giving a, a, a stern warning of the first one. Uh, Ms. Shorter describes altercation as that she was uh, altercation with another student and that um, and that she voluntarily left before the end of the class, which had five at least five more minutes remaining in there. I have reviewed the, I have reviewed the agreement uh, that you signed, Ms. Shorter, and was signed by Ms. Harrington, and it is clear that there is a course of conduct. Uh, a code of conduct for the class, as well as a, uh, a dress code. And it is clear in, in, in relatively bold letters that if your conduct is unbecoming of a professional, um, it is there is there a right to terminate, uh, to terminate you from the program. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that is. Is what, and, that, and that is what they did. Uh, that's something you signed to, you agreed to. And in light of that, uh, there's no provision in there indicating any partial refunds or any refunds entitled due to termination. So in light of that, in light of this, ma'am, Ms. Shorter, you have failed to meet your burden of proof and the judgment is in favor of, of Ms. Harrington. That's uh, fine. It was a pre-determination. You have, okay, That's fine. are you, you going to overtalk me again? No. Nope. Nope, I wasn't. But therefore, you still never asked me what was the first altercation. It was never a, a first altercation. You you see that she has no proof of another altercation. It was fabrication. So just because she said it, that but that means it's true. No, it's not true. That was a premeditated termination. Do you have any questions, Miss Harrington? Y'all, I want to thank you. I tried my best. I tried my best. And I'm really in tears because I do this for them. I understand, Ms. Harrison. $600 <laughs> won't make or break me, Your Honor. But it does when they do things like they do, give me bad reviews because of things like this. This is not good. And I feel sorry for her because that disrespect is hanging up on you. They don't get it. I I I I, I understand, Miss Harrington. It was it was very easy easy for me to believe that due to the fact she was over talking me and whatever that she you know had consistent behavior in your class. And so uh, once you showed me the contract, it was very very easy. It was clear. And it was very very easy to rule in your in your favor. So my hats off to you. Continue doing what you do. Um, you know, this is the life we've chosen. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Do you have any other questions, ma'am? No. So, so what? What next? I mean, do I have to? No. I, I have, okay. I have uh, signed the judgment in your favor. You get a copy of it in the mail, and that's it. Basically, the case is over. If Miss Shorter uh, wants to appeal, she has seven days to do so. Uh, I don't know whether she will or not. It's up to her. Uh, but as of now, this case is closed and you have, um, you know, she has not proven her case. So thank you. Uh, thank you. You have a good day, ma'am. You too, sir. Bye-bye.
Bye-bye.